My robot rules. Hey, Eureka, come take a look at this. Oh my gosh, where did you find it? It was floating in a stream outside the lab. Look how old it is. Eureka, can we talk for a minute? Is this about my robot? Yeah, no. I'm going to need you to babysit my kids. What? Um, sir, I'm pretty sure that's not in my contract. And I'm pretty sure you didn't finish your robot on time. <sighs> when do you need me to watch them? This weekend? Actually, it'll be about six seconds from now. Daddy! Daddy. Daddy's got to do some work. Papers. Auntie Eureka will watch you for a while. Uh, be good. Auntie! Auntie! But finally, Cosmo and his companions sailed home. Waiting in their cell was a new captive. An explosive one. But would this ticking time bomb aid them in their quest or simply blow everything to smithereens? Only time would tell. Time and this narrator for Cosmo's, Cosmo's Journeys, Journeys through, through the Galaxy. galaxy. Sponsored by Cosmo's Cosmic Contraptions. <laughs> Hey, do you kids want to see some robots? We want to go to the candy machine. Yeah, candy. All right, follow me. Oh boy, robots! Correction, unattended robots. Mine. No fair, mine too! Hey, remember last time when we found that creepy door in the basement? Yeah, so? Let's just say I brought my lockpick set. <laughs> okay, kids, you can each have one thing, so choose carefully. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, snap! I found a castle! Yay! Mine's a dollhouse! Hey, Junior, let me play with the pink robot. No way, Lizzie. She's the only one with bombs. Then just give me the cute green one. Fine. You go play with your dollies over there. I will. In you go, green robot. I'm going to make you so pretty. Gross. Give him back. Okay. Give me the pink robot first. Not a chance. It appears we're at an impasse. <laughs> Oh, my God.